Hey guys, Diastro here. This is Lights Out versus Mercenario, round two of the 10v10 level BF tournament. Mercenaries won by 103 first round on Hanan Resort. Here comes round two. But it's been an exciting game nonetheless, uh, even without the commander. Be interesting to see how Lights Out responds if they kind of try something different. They, they were playing well, but just, again, couldn't keep control of that that ticket bleed, uh, the, the majority of the flags, and Mercenarios winning the day on that front. Yes. Oh, one more restart. We'll be giving the headsets away later in the evening. Definitely stick around from that. You'll win some Astros from Dasgro. Yeah, Astros from Dasgro. And while we wait, I'm going to go and just look at these skills right now as we go through this. Nope, it is, Commander is allowed. We just did Commander. Um... We just did the last round of Commander, so I don't know what, what, what the deal is, but this is live, guys, going to Ipoda. He is rocking in the Warthog. And again, another good breakout for Mercenarios, quickly taking the two-flag uh, burn as Lights Out is just now taking control of Alpha. Yes. Not a good start for Lights Out here, but you know, still plenty of time to try to make up that 103 tickets, which they are down from round one. Indeed. Is Wishy Bear in here? I didn't see Wishy Bear. I don't believe so. Wishy Bear, one of the top battlefield little bird pilots for sure. Oh, yeah, he plays as a very he entertaining does that stream. A lot. A lot. A lot of experience in, in the chopper. Yes. As it looks like B is getting burned, we've got uh, two or maybe three of lights out, but there's I think there's five mercenarios on there, so they're staying with their plan, sticking with what worked for them. Infantry heavy on Bravo is mercenarios. Looks like LG manages to take out one and they are going to get the burn as his teammate spawns on them. They're going to try to take control of Bravo or lights out. Yes, going to, going to Big Jesus from Mercenarios. Big Jesus! Coming up the steps, looking to contest this burn. He is contesting it. They are, they are playing the man game. Again, as we said earlier, it, it's not even necessarily about fragging. It's just having more bodies on the point, better positioning, and they're doing that thus far using four, I believe, maybe even five guys to take the burn back from lights out. They are. It's a bit of a stalemate. It, it is. It's 346 and 390 in favor of Mercenarios. They are taking on Bravo slowly. Balance Chimp says, hey, I'm a console player. If I'd love to help out, you can help out. Jump on a little, uh, little BS TeamSpeak server and uh, play how you can help. He's just taken down Elegy. He is. Mercenary is still in control of Bravo and Charlie, and Lights Out gonna gonna need to make a move at some point. It's not a huge deficit to make up again. No. Only 103 tickets, but you don't want to potentially get down huge in this second round to begin with because then you've got to make up that deficit plus the 100 tickets you're already Correct. down. So. Correct. Got to keep that in mind as they play this round uh, further. We are looking at, at zero one one chip. Tries to kill that little bird. That little bird. They, gotta, they, they want to be able to take that out. Get some shots on it. Oh, watch out. <laughs> And, and again, this is what the, this is what they're doing smart. They they try to take some shots on that little bird, which is again uh, Z skill, who had a hell of a round last round. But if they can't get the shot off, or if they're taking damage, they retreat to safety to maintain control of Bravo. That's a smart play by Mercenarios. Oh, as oh. Z skill does take two of them down. High 
real close with the shot. They are holding it, but the bleed is no longer going in their favor. Axe does take out. Players this is the chance that Lights Out needs. Uh, getting the burn on Bravo. They really need to take control of it and hold it for a while. Look but meanwhile, it looks like Charlie's burning. Yes. Uh, Abnorloid has, is taking back on Bravo. We, Lights Out does need this. They do have the bleed now in their favor, but nearly a hundred ticket deficit that they must get uh, somehow be able to, to compensate for as well as a hundred ticket loss from the last round. Looking at the mini-map. So they flip-flopped. They did, wow. did flip-flop. We do see... But it looks like they're abandoning C, and it looks like Mercenaries is going to come back to Charlie. Oh, yeah, Mercenary is back. pushing super hard on Charlie. Gabriel's there. Sees one. Oh, but he, they got shot out. Wow, by something. A-10, it looks like. All the while going to M-Power. He, or Mercenary with Power 1. They are taking back Charlie now. Yeah, and I'm surprised by the play there from Lights Out. They did, they flipped and took Charlie and Bravo and then kind of immediately abandoned Charlie, leaving just a single infantryman, Frosty, there. Although it does look like they have a beacon. But I would have thought if they were going to abandon Charlie, they would have made a heavier push to get Alpha back and hopefully hold Bravo and Alpha. You know, obviously with Alpha being closer to their spawn, it's an easier flag to hold. And it looks like that is what they are doing. They are taking Alpha, but... Bravo is going back into the advantage of Mercenarios. They've just really had Lights Out's number on that point thus far in this match. Yes. We are now looking at Bello, who's putting down a uh, beacon. We do see Bravo you know, being held right now by Mercenarios, but uh, a number of, of players from Lights Out still holding it. Bello's still up, trying to find more dudes. Flanking around, he hears them. Look at all those guys. So many bodies, so many by power. So many on there. Mercenaries. Lights out is though holding a, a double. But Calypso is on the Charlie point, graying it out. Still holding a nearly 50 ticket lead. And I'm thinking pretty soon Lights Out is going to need to get a bit more aggressive. Um, you know, just not really being able to crack the enigma that is Bravo for them. I think they need to stick with maybe the Alpha C hold if they can get it. And then just try to, to dig in and make up some of those tickets because they've got a long way to go right now. The Mercenario is doing a great job of, of keeping them on their heels and maintaining their lead in this match. Indeed. Calypso holding up on Charlie. Watch out for that tree. <laughs> Watch out for that tree! Watch out for the tree! Is that uh, Tarzan? No. No, that's George. I think it is. No, no, yeah. no, oh, George of the jungle. jungle. Yeah. George of the Jungle, power one, right behind on the kills that I think Killer can kill. Dodging those Zuni rockets. And here comes a toe. Killer can kill solo. And second oh, show? No. Im Ooh! Killing Kill does end up winning that. Does end up winning that. But he's low. I thought Power had that, but just couldn't couldn't quite finish him off. Maybe that that a react or that a uh, act of protection was enough. They are taking. No, they're not taking back Charlie. Just yeah, they're trying to hold it. Oh, a single a single rocket ends up killing the one infantry guy left. We see lights out. Holding Charlie, Alpha is looking to go in the favor of Mercenarios. 239 to 299, sees one, but oh. taken out. does end up killing them with, with the grenade, a mini grenade, just a few moments too late. And we're seeing Mercenarios play, play the beacon pretty well. Uh, they dropped a beacon inside the building at Alpha, and interesting enough, I would have thought that maybe Lights Out would have destroyed that building on Alpha to prevent this exact tactic by Mercenarios. It's a lot easier for your armor to hold the Alpha point or to take it back on their own if that building is down and the infantry doesn't have so many areas to hide. Yes. Uh, Abnoroid from Lightside is taking Bravo back. Still a uh, almost a 50 ticket lead for Mercenaries. 10 minutes in. 
Still plenty of time for lights out. And, you know, they still have some tickets to play with. They are not out of this, Ooh. but they're going to need to make a move soon to, to take the lead and make up some tickets. Otherwise, they will be headed home. Lots of trades going to Z skills on Alpha. Takes out one. There's still quite a few left. Sees a second. Where's that last guy? Oh, he uh -oh. just can't quite get There's at him. No Again, if this is. building was down, he wouldn't be able to hide from him. No. Uh, while he leaves, we have Killer Can Kill uh, going back into Alpha. Bleed is not a bit of a trade off yet, there. But here comes Rockets. Sees one. Will he try to aim for it or just destroy the building outright? He does get shots on him. He ends up taking him out. Taking out Black Dog while the building collapses. But, guys, triple cap in favor of Mercenarios, 283 to 205. And this is huge. This is a, a, a big moment. I mean, lights out. they got to get out from under this quickly. Yes. Uh, they're cracking under the 200 ticket mark now. So, they, again, if it goes below 100, if they go below 103 tickets, they will lose this match. They cannot come back at that point. So, they quickly need to take Alpha, make a push for either Bravo or Charlie, either one, perhaps a, a spawn beacon bomb on Charlie. And it does look like they have Frosty there, but he's on his lonesome. Going to Admiroid, he is on Bravo taking it back. The gray is in their favor. Sees two. Watch out. <laughs> LG takes out Hike. It looks like Lights Out is trying to take Bravo, but Mercenary is just zerging it with too many bodies. Yes. Going to Big Jesus. Wow, he goes down as well. Coke can kill though. He's pushing into Bravo in the middle, trying to get around. This is very risky. Is he, is he gonna... And Lights Out able to take control of Bravo. Finally, they've got Alpha and Bravo, and it looks like they are also burning Charlie with three guys there. So this this is the move that Lights Out needs. If they can get this triple cap and perhaps hold it for a minute or so, they could easily make up a huge amount of tickets and get back in this game and, and put Mercenarios uh, into a corner. Oh, that's not good. Sorry, guys. My cameras were all messed up. We do see oh, no! we do see both the IFV still up, although in the end, it looks as if that Killer Can Kill does get taken out by Mercenario's helicopter pilot. He's now turning around. We do see, though, a triple cap in favor of Lights Out. That Yeah, this is this is huge. This is but look at this. There's a there's a spawn beacon by Mercenarios way back between Alpha and the Lights Out spawn, and they are quickly going to try to take Alpha back to get out from under this triple cap. Yes, PVV is holding it. He is going to get the gray. No, it stops. There's still one more left. The, the cap holds. Oh, oh guys, this is this is what they needed. But the great rotation by Lights Out to, to hold on to this triple cap. Although it looks like they are going to lose Charlie, but if they can maintain control of Alpha, it looks like the, wow. I don't know. Mercenarios is just zerging it. There's four of them on there now. There is four. We do see Big Jesus still on the point with his teammates. They do end up taking Alpha back, as well as Charlie. Fight a nice job by Lights Out to momentarily have a triple cap. You know, Mercenary is just a great rotation. Yes. Again, put the spawn beacon in between their spawn and Alpha and just put more bodies on Alpha than Lights Out could deal with. Yeah, 60 ticket lead for Mercenarios. If, if Lights Out loses an, another 42 tickets, they're done. Yep, 103 ticket victory by Mercenarios in the previous round. Not many tickets left to play with by Lights Out, but they are trying to take C, and they do have Bravo, so if they can get this two-flag burn, they they are certainly still within the realm of possibility of winning this game. That they are. We do see Lights Out taking Charlie back, but Empower is still there to stop him. Mercenarios' power is with the IFV trying to find them, but really just more spraying and praying. They are hiding, but that was a miss. And I'm not sure what Classic is doing here. I think he'd be better served if he was on the burn with his teammates because they really need this flag, and it looks like he's just too focused on trying to C4 that lab, and yeah. he's just not even able to get close. I think that was a poor decision there by Lights Out. They needed more bodies yeah, bleed continues on, the, to, on the burn. Bleed continues to be in Mercenario's favor, 30, 134 to 210. 
we're on an e ticket lead guys i i think that this is going to be just too much for lights out mercenarios holding this shifting correctly maneuvering correctly being able to react accordingly yeah they've they played to their strengths which is their teamwork and their coordination on getting bodies on the flag quickly and rotating to different flag points when they need to we, we saw them, I guess, I'm not sure what they were doing differently, but Z-Skill, not quite as uh, a good of a performance in the Little Bird this time. Only 16 and 6, I believe he dropped roughly 30 or 35 frags in the previous round. Yes, that's the end of the uh, match, guys. There is no more way that Lights Out can win this. They can win the round, but it won't be enough from tickets. Merc and congratulations to Merc Mercenarios. Yeah, congratulations to Mercenarios. They will move on to round three. Yes. The level BF 10 v 10 Commander Cup. Looking at the scores right now, uh, we, we see that the infantry between both of them were uh, approximately the same. No one really stands out uh, in terms of in terms of really high KDs. Uh, but what we do see is we do see uh, Z skills not pulling as large of 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 uh, score as he did last time. But what we do see is. Um, a lot of consistency and number of a number of KDs for each of the mercenarios players. And uh, even point spread as well. Uh, again, they've used their bodies. Didn't necessarily worry about out fragging the team. They just you know kind of kind of zerked the points, especially on Bravo. But they did get the rotations they needed. You know, with a few times the lights out was able to secure Bravo mercenarios. You know, rotating to either Alpha or Charlie to get that uh, kind of outside control to maintain the lead and prevent lights out from getting back in this game. Yes. Ipoto going for that light helicopter kill, but a little dodge by these skills. And it looks like I'm getting buzzed, so I'm going to drop to see the uh, to speak with the admins yep. and see where we're headed next. Where Astro. are we headed? Uh oh. Pato's in trouble. He's on fire because. Mad Hat is there behind him. He's going to go for that one IFB. He gets a uh, 10 damage on him. Chose before JDM drop. Does he get a kill on this? Nope. No, no kill. Going for an turn though. Lots of damage. Vehicle disabled. Does he get a, a JDM drop there? No spot bones. He just wants more kills. Another JDM attempt. Anything? No. No, no kills. 67 to what to 161, 100 ticket lead for Mercenarios. We see Z skills taking back on Charlie. And as we uh, this this round gets done, we will be going to the next round. I'm gonna do a little bit of break right now, uh, personally. Oh, Nerado, Neutro ends up uh, having to fly because his teammate, his Z skills, his pilot, ends up dying. But he is staying up somehow. But watch out, Z skills back up. I'm gonna be taking a a a, 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 a short. Fire break while you guys watch this.
All right, guys, that's the end of the round. I'm back. 142 to zero. That means the combined score for this uh, round was 245 to zero in favor of Mercenarios. Well, that's the end of that one. Let's uh, check out the brackets if we can and see what we can see. Here we go. Here are the brackets right now. We will see that... Uh, what are we going to see? We're going to see that in this... Mercenarios will move on and play the winner of Warchild versus Exertus EU. I'm still trying to uh, determine the winner of that. But we'll see. Little Bird Pilots for sure. Oh, yeah, he plays, it's he, a very he entertaining does that stream. A lot. A lot. A lot of experience in, in the chopper. Yes. As it looks like B is getting burned, we've got uh, two or maybe three of lights out, but there's I think there's five mercenarios on there, so they're staying with their plan, sticking with what worked for them. Infantry heavy on Bravo is mercenarios. Looks like LG managed. And again, another good breakout for Mercenarios, quickly taking the two-flag uh, burn as Lights Out is just now taking control of Alpha. Yes. Not a good start for Lights Out here, but, you know, still plenty of time to try to make up that 103 tickets, which they are down from round one. Indeed. Is Wichita Baron here? I didn't see Wichita Baron. I don't believe so. Which he bear one of the top battlefield. Hey guys, Diasco here. This is Lights Out versus Mercenario, round two of the 10v10 level BF tournament. Mercenaries won by 103 first round on Hanan Resort. Here comes round two. But it's been an exciting game nonetheless, uh, even without the commander. Interesting to see how Lights Out responds if they kind of try something different. They, they were playing well, but just, again, couldn't keep control of that that ticket bleed, uh, the, the majority of the flags, and Mercenarios winning the day on that front. Yes. Oh, one more restart. We'll be giving the headsets away later in the evening. Definitely stick around from that. You'll win some Astros from Dasgro. Yeah, Astros from Dasgro. And while we wait, I'm going to go and just look at these skills right now as we go through this. Nope, it is, Commander is allowed. We just did Commander. Um... We just did the last round of Commander, so I don't know what, what, what the deal is, but this is live, guys, going to Ipoda. He is rocking in the Warthog. 